Hey guys, Jeff, Sarah, and Evan here, and today we are talking about the top five reasons to dive St. Croix. So let's get going. All right, guys, so jumping straight into the top five reasons to scuba dive in St. Croix. Number five on our list is the wrecks at Butler Bay. So there's actually two dive sites out there with uh, shipwrecks. There is a shallow water dive site with, uh, with five wrecks in total. So the dive site is about 45 feet to start, does get down to about 80 at its deepest point, but an average depth is probably about 50 to 60 feet total. So there's a uh, tugboat out there, there's a section of an underwater habitat, there's actually some truck chassis, there is a 300 foot long barge called the Virgin Islander, and then there's a North Sea trawler mm -hmm. out there as well that's missing its superstructure, but it's really cool to investigate that wreck. You mm -hmm. can actually dip inside in part of it and then pop back uh, pop back out the top. So the shallow wrecks are definitely a must see. And then just next door are the deep wrecks. The average depth there about 100 feet, but there's two wrecks out there. There is the Coakley Bay tugboat, uh, so another tug to investigate. But then there's also the Rosa Maria, uh, which is a freighter. Uh, she's really long. She's got her superstructure, extremely, extremely neat dive site. So uh, number five on our list, the wrecks at Butler Bay. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So number four on our top five reasons to uh, scuba dive St. Croix. Evan, what is number four? Number four on our list is the North Shore Wall. The wall at St. Croix is really easy to get to from like Cane Bay and North Star, and it has some really cool features to it, which closer to the shore, it has some patch reefs, and farther down on the wall, it's got some spur and grooves, and there are a lot of nice local areas where the sharks hang out and all the turtles and the rays and it's just overall a really nice spot to dive. Yeah, it's amazing. And and as you get down that wall, you can just see out there there's just pure dark blue water. It just descends down to the abyss. It's really, really awe-inspiring and tons of fun just to swim across. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, yeah. I do. So reason number three to de scuba dive in St. Croix is what? The Frederickstead Pier. Awesome dive site. Every dive is totally different and there's about three different dive profiles just in that one location. There's the shallow and about 25 feet, the midsection a little bit deeper, and the pilings at the end about 80 feet. You can see turtles grazing all along the whole length of the pier. All the pilings have very colorful growth on them. You can search in them for seahorse, uh, look for batfish on the ground, uh, rays, tarpon swimming through the pilings. Um, very unique. There's so much life at the pier, yeah. And, you know, we can all dive the pier at once and we'd never see the same thing, right? Exactly. We can all see different stuff. All right, guys, so reason number two to scuba dive St. Croix on our top five list. Uh, Evan, what's reason number two? Reason number two is boat diving. There are really some easy spots out here on St. Croix from Frederickstead, Christiansted, and Salt River. And Christiansted, there's the reef that runs all the way around that side of the island. And it's about, on average, 15 to 20 minute boat, boat ride out there. And there's some really unique spots, and each spot is a little different, and there are plenty of different types of sea life out there, sharks, turtles, rays, even might hear some whales out there. There's some really easy access dives out west to at Frederickstead all the way around the entire side of the island. There's plenty of dive sites by Sandy Point, like end of the line and throwing wreath of death. And north of the pier, there's Butler Bay, Armageddon, and some other really neat dive sites out there. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. There's such a diversity of diving around the island itself and having boats kind of on the west end of the island and on the north shore makes it really quick and easy to get out on the reef and to get to those those dive sites. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. So boat diving, <laughs> number two, such easy access here on St. Croix to get you right on the reef really quick. Okay, so number one on our top five reasons to scuba dive St. Croix is easy access to shore diving. 
So you can dive here from shore until your heart's content, really. So right on the North Shore, you can get out to the wall uh, from the Cane Bay Beach or further down at North Star or even Davis Bay right there on, on that North Shore Road. So really, really easy to get uh, mm -hmm. out to the wall quickly. It's a short, maybe 250-yard swim on average there, and boom, you're on the wall. So out west as well, there's lots of great uh, shore diving. So there's the pier uh, that we talked about, uh, which is a fantastic dive, but it's also right there uh, at, at the shoreline. So uh, any of the dive shops in town will make sure you get, you're all geared up and have the tanks that you need, but then you can do a stride jump right on the north side of that pier and be in and going for an hour long plus dive, depending on how mm -hmm. good you are on air, but uh, with an average depth of 25 feet. It's 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 a long, nice, relaxing dive for sure. So, uh, and then uh, you know, even out there at Butler Bay, there's a South Shore Ridge uh, line that is easily accessible that can be checked out from shore. It's also a shallow, uh, 25 foot, 30 foot mm -hmm. dive. So a nice long dive out there in Butler Bay along the ridge where those wrecks are that we talked about. So, uh, shore diving, number one, yep. number one reason to come and scuba dive St. Croix. It's, it's just fantastic to scuba dive here on St. Croix. So uh, definitely check out some of the other videos that we've done where we narrate uh, different dive sites from not just above the water, but beneath the surface. We break out our uh, full face mask and our underwater communication equipment, and uh, we show you and tell it to you as it happens. Uh, so mm -hmm. definitely check out some of the links here in the description below and we're gonna we're gonna link to some of those here at the end so if you guys really enjoyed this video and want to see more of our dives uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well and hit that bell notification so you don't miss one but uh, until next time uh, be safe and have fun diving